Hi friends, uh, the intention of this particular video is to show you guys uh, the location switching and application installation in uh, LG Webvoice televisions. Uh, so this video is a response to Mr. Uh, Chetan Kumar's question regarding uh, the location switching. As well towards the end of this video, uh, Mr. Pranav, uh, he requested me like what are the applications that I am using. Uh, so I will be showing you uh, those applications. Uh, uh, that I commonly use towards the end of this video. So first of all, you will be seeing location switching and in the middle section what you will be seeing is uh, uh, when you are doing the location switching, you need to keep certain things in mind. Uh, so that we will be seeing uh, in the later half. So for location switching, press on uh, settings and go to general, insert settings and you could see the second option location. So click on that. And there will be two options, broadcasting and services. So broadcasting is not uh, the one you need. What you need is services. The service country has to be changed to the particular country uh, you want to switch. Means uh, when you ch after changing the service country, uh, you will be able to access the particular app store. Uh, and another aspect is for accessing the app store. Means uh, So after clicking this, click apply, the TV will restart. What happens is you will be losing all the picture settings or any other settings that you will be having uh, while you are doing this location switching. So if you don't want to lose uh, your existing picture settings or existing program settings, uh, you shouldn't do this. But if you're okay with that, yes, you are uh, okay to proceed. And while you're going inside, uh, you will be asked for an account management for uh, accessing the webboy store. Means not now. After restarting the TV, the TV will be giving you like this, sign into your LG account. If you're going inside the app store for installing a new application, they will be asking you to give the uh, mail ID, password and all those things or you may create a new account also or sign in with Facebook. So I will, uh, I would recommend you to create a new account every time you are switch, uh, switching from one app, uh, one store to another and also, uh, so uh, for example if you want to do switch from Philippines to India, India to Singapore like that you will have to restart the TV again and again and do this one by one and every time you restart the TV, those applications, the default applications will be loaded into this particular area. Means towards the uh, towards that first portion, uh, that's our main interface, right? Where, there you will be able to see what are the normal applications. So after using one particular application, if you want to remove, yes, you could just remove the application. You, I mean, you no longer want that application inside your TV, means you can remove that and proceed to the next app store, install the applications you would like to see then proceed to the next step so that is the process you need to follow for getting new applications uh, so pranav uh, as you could see these are the uh, there are so many applications actually i am having so many applications installed but uh, mainly what i will be using is uh, certain applications like deezer uh, so now there is a new application fpt play i use uh, nowadays i am uh, i mean that application is very good so i am using that application then normally used applications are like um, some movies normally used uh, uh, then IC Flex is normally used, YouTube is normally used, SmartShare or uh, Crackle. Uh, okay, one month only I used Crackle after uh, because it's a paid application. And uh, unfortunately, Daily Motion is no longer available in Asia Pacific region, I think. Uh, I'm able to use the application because uh, I got the application in June, so I'm able to use the application. But I think for those who are new to the webvoice app store they won't be able to find this application because i didn't find it this time uh, last week i checked and that application got removed i think so uh, so that's an update from my side regarding the webvoice app i mean daily motion application probably they will be coming up with the application in the later uh, i mean uh, in the later coming months i think uh, hope so <laughs> okay uh, so coming on to this, um, so this is it for this particular review and uh, to work on, um, regarding the upcoming review, uh, so what I am planning to do is there is a very good application uh, that came um, with lots of updated contents and quality and that particular application is Bollywood HD. Uh, so what we will be doing next is a review of Bollywood HD and uh, the review will be up uh, within uh, a day or two. Uh, I'll try my best to uh, put it on top okay uh, so uh, regarding this particular application actually the content quality is very very high it's full HD and the number of content uh, comparing it with the wow TV or other applications this is a very good application so do check out the review on Bollywood movie channel and uh, 
so that's it guys so hope you guys enjoyed uh, this review also uh, so stay tuned uh, cheers okay.